Hey, I, I really don't want to be recording this video right now, but um, I it's like the maniacal, uh, what's he called? I don't know, git in my head that just loves to cackle and have fun, uh, really wants to, and the rest of me is like, I have a headache, and I've been staring at this screen way too long, um, and I want to go to bed. But apparently, get one out, because here we are. Um, one of my recent videos was talking about the Calvin Johnson scale, and I realized after I made it that one, that made a great clickbait title, which really let everyone down, like the minute they got into the video, because I in no way triggered that that could be, that could be a great, like, title. Um, and two, like, like, Every single comment was pointing out how I could have done something really interesting. Like, hey, uh, how's Kyle Pitts measure up against that? Damn it. That would have been a better answer. Or, hey, uh, did you do a Ladanian Tom Tomlinson? Or, uh, you know, uh, a, a, a Rob Gronkowski scale? How, how do those work? I'm like, damn it. Damn it. And, um, yeah, so I made them. If, if I in any way had skills or could, like, edit, I'd have, like, thunder and lightning right here, like, like, I, uh, look at the monster I've created. My head really hurts. Um, because, yeah, I kind of got real deep into that idea. Um, and I reconfigured everything. It's actually doing the exact same job as the Calvin Johnson Index. And I'm going to call it the Calvin Johnson Index in the wide receiver tab. And uh, uh, <laughs> it actually creates the exact same ranks, funnily enough, because it's doing the same thing. Now, what I loved about the Calvin Johnson scale is that it was entirely random from start to finish. I made it in five minutes using a regression model. And uh, just because someone, I, I, it brimmed over with the, with the physical comparisons um, last year, I think it was. Um, uh, wide receivers, big, big and tall. And um, I, I loved that, like, the height, the 329 number was just, like, a, a random freaking, like, meant nothing. Someone actually pointed out on Patreon that that's the most yards Calvin Johnson ever got in the game. So I'm going to say that was the reason from now on, obviously. But, um, no, it was just it's a random thing that the, 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 the freaking calculation spat out. And um, to someone else who commented on the video... You know, for a failed clickbait title, got a lot of comments. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you. Um, but they were like, uh, is the formula the same in the formula tab? Because I keep getting 12. And that's, I, the minute I read that, I was like, oh, that's the old formula. Because I was trying to actually do a decent job creating a, ca creating a combine score. And since then, I just gave up. And it's all troll stuff when it comes to combine. Um, so I was looking at that and thinking about all the comments. And I was like, you know what I could do? I could just do a percentage calculation, like the difference from these guys, the Calvins and the and the Gronkowskis of the world, to that actual player. And I was like, well, I'd have to weight it. Like, you want forty time greater than height? And I was like, no, don't, because that keeps the troll in there. That's like, that's perfect, and um. It worked really well, or I really liked the way it came out. And uh, like I said, went a little crazy with it. So let, let, let me show you some. Uh, let me show you some stuff. How about that? <laughs> Do I seem excited? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it now spits out a percentage, which is more readily understandable, like 2% less than Calvin Johnson. Right, 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 right. So that's, I think, a little more... Oh, sorry, my screen's a little low here. A little more understandable. And I'm still getting the same results, like Jalen Camp is the top of this class at wide receiver in terms of comparisons to um, Calvin Johnson. And if you dig back through the classes, you've got, uh, you know, the only guy who ever really got close was just Chase Claypool. And all I'm doing is a percentage difference between height, weight, BMI, and 40 time. 
and literally Calvin Johnson. So now I didn't even have to get as sophisticated with doing a regression model and like eh, kind of pointing it towards Calvin Johnson using PPR points per game over the first three years. Now I can now it's literally against Calvin Johnson, and that's a percentage difference average across those four metrics. And I I inverted the forty times, so a higher forty time is uh, a negative. And, and therefore it counts accurately. And that's the only complex thing I did. <coughs> so it's a really easy formula. And I'm, I'm, when I think, when I finalize these and re-upload it, it'll be in the formula tab finally. And I'm just, I think I'm just going to delete combine scores because uh, that I would really like to delete the combine scores. But yeah, yeah. And then um, I may have d- done it for tight end as well. <laughs> <laughs> this was um, for a guy who really wasn't enjoying staring at the screens. My head was seriously hurting, uh, and still is. And the bright light doesn't help. Uh, this the, this was too much fun because there was so much in here that's just I hate like look, look, look at that that that's a funny thing about evaluating players based on size, weight, 40 time, and uh, BMI, huh, huh. There's a lot of huh, huh moments uh, when you start looking through the scores. Now, if they don't have a 40 time, they can't get a score. That's the only real line I drew. So um, in this class, Hunter Long is the closest um, uh, to Rob Gronkowski. This is a, I, I got a Rob Gronkowski scale, everyone. I don't, I don't know if that makes anyone else as happy as I do, but it's literally... The percentage difference across those four things from Rob Gronkowski to that individual player. And, and uh, yeah, Hunter Long is like 2% different. So is Brevin Jordan. Kyle Pitts is 2% different because they're all slightly smaller. Kyle Pitts got a better 40 time, obviously. And so it balances out to 2%. It's all the same. And I also put him on the Calvin scale just, just for this one time. Because, again, that YouTube comment was, uh, how does Kyle Pitts compare to... Um, Calvin Johnson, and uh, perfectly. Actually, if you just look at the average of the percentage differences, uh, Brevin Jordan and Kyle Pitts are both right there. Of course, they're both smaller, but also slightly, slightly faster. Uh, but no, sorry, they're both bigger, but slightly slower, and the percentage difference works out to zero, and I thought that was pretty neat. Interesting enough, Hunter Long, interesting third-round pick this year because of his production, not because of this. Um, he's actually slightly... It compares above Gail Johnson. <laughs> ah, I love this thing. Um, and then maybe, maybe I I got a a little a little even weirder and went with running back. And actually, um, we we had a big discussion in the Discord about whether I was talking about uh Damian Tomlinson or um uh sorry uh LD or LT. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Tomlinson, um, but I said I called it LD because it's actually just a mistake because we're on first name terms, obviously. Like you've got Calvin and you've got LD, Le Danian Tom- Tomlinson. Actually, I just completely scuffed. It was a typo, but it's sticking. With, I'm sticking with the LD scale now. And so the question was, why do you call it Gronk then? And I was like, well, the Rob scale just doesn't have the same ring to it, I guess. But anyway, uh, this year's class, uh, three running backs compare incredibly positively to Ladanian uh, Tomlinson. And that's BJ Emmons, who I've got no idea who that is. uh, Brendan Knox and uh, Ramondre Stevenson, who is actually pretty interesting. Uh, I did a a video on him. I think he's really interesting, um, you know, third-ish round pick and rookie drafts. Interesting fourth round NFL pick. Um, but still, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you this. And also, like, I'm not sure it comes across, but if you scan through here, you've got, like, A.J. Dillon getting a 4.3 compared to L- LT. Um, so I see why people, like, he was actually pretty productive in college with no receiving work and in no way looked like he was <laughs> a level of prospect. But all the, the hotness on Twitter and the hype around him suddenly makes a lot more sense. For me, it kind of uncovered a lot of... some. Some people don't know what they're doing. As it, like he he's got physical metrics that really make their eyes water, and that's what I th- I think that weighed in. But then you've got uh, you know Antonio Gibson and Jonathan Taylor comparing well, so isn't it doing something? Well, yeah, I mean, 
in the same way that at Calvin Johnson's scale, like Chase Claypool and DK Metcalf, both the best scorers and pretty close uh, to Calvin Johnson. But here's the thing, they're good at that size and that might create a higher weight, but the two don't naturally go together, which is the entire reason combine scores don't work. And, and, and well, let's just take running back here. Like we've got uh, Quandre Ollison. He, he was... He was as good as LT, right? But let's be for real for a second. You've got Saquon Barkley, and he measures really well compared to LT, right? Obviously. But, like, does does that mean that Leonard Fournette is better than him? Because he's got a slightly higher physical comparison to the great running back? N- no. You get Leonard Fournette when you draft Leonard Fournette, even though he's of that size. And you get Saquon Barkley... When you draft Saquon Barkley, and maybe I'm just saying names at you and this doesn't make sense, but the more I look through these numbers, the more I'm like, yeah, that kind of tells the story of what I'm always trying to harp on about with physical metrics. Like, this means nothing if they're not good. Like, literally nothing. Um, And it... I, I really enjoyed looking through it, and I did feel like a, a mad professor or some kind of uh, Frankenstein monster creator uh, going, f- like, I just, I created one for every position. I didn't, I couldn't come up with a quarterback guy, but I've got one for running back, one for tight end, and, and one for wide receiver, and for the, you know, the physical guy that we're all searching for, and I think it's interesting. I mean, it's not, like, Again, I've said before, it's not like physical metrics or combo metrics don't have value. They're very descriptive. They could have really brought me in on Chase Claypool if I'd been willing to listen, which I wasn't. Um, and stuff like that. If there's production and size, you know I mean, something that you, that's good to know. Um, but yeah, sorry. Um, I realize this might not be as funny for you as it is for me, but I, I, uh, I, I love these. Uh, I, I really enjoyed making these, and I wanted to show them to you and tell you they will be uh, in the database whenever I update it next. And I had a great deal of fun going, ha ha ha, Allison, and stuff. And um, yeah, so now the numbers make a little more, the numbers are a little less arbitrary. The fact that they're evenly uh, distributed, the percentages even distributed, and doing pretty much the same job as the most complex, you know, uh, athletic, height adjusted, weight adjusted, like that's. It's just wonderful to me. Um, and and again, still, all of these, like all combine numbers and the height adjusted and the, the size adjusted athleticism numbers, none of them have any correlation to PPR points or success in the NFL. So that's that's on brand too. Um, but yeah, yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, I, I think I'm going to reward myself now with a nice long sleep. So um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to ask for you. Um, Travis Etne is comparing pretty well uh, to Mr. LT. Again, he's of the type of size. And uh, Najee Harris doesn't get a score because I don't have a 40 time for him, uh, as of yet, at least. Um, so, yeah, there's just some random names there. Tra- Trey Sermon. Oh, no, he's 2.8% too small. <laughs> I, sorry. I'm going to go. Um, big screen, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, i really just like to thank everyone that commented on that video on both Patreon and in the Discord and on YouTube because uh, I had hella fun um, playing with all of your ideas and uh, I, I really like getting comments. It's nice to know I'm not just not just screaming into the void. So I uh, appreciate it. Um, and I think you all pushed me in a better direction for it because I'm not... Uh, like the running back combine score used to be part of my model and now it's just... No, I had to find a way of doing it this year without combine numbers. And then we got pro day numbers. And I thought about going back and creating a, a, a new model around the new uh, the, the new normal, uh, as it were. And um, instead, I'm just pretty happy with my pre, pre-draft pre model without it. And uh, I prefer to stay that way. And that, that also frees me up to play around with stuff like this. Again... I think it provides some quick eye view into how well they compare to the idealized physical shape um, of uh, different positions. And so, you know, a quick eye scan and uh, I think it actually has some use. But honestly, I just, yeah, that's that's what I want in my database in terms of combine and weight adjusted and uh, all that stuff. 
I like my Kelvin, my Gronk, and my LD, which will forever now be named the LD scale. scale. And also, it means I don't have to change it because regression models change, and it was a weird number, and I kept having to retrofit it. And this is just a straight up percentage difference calculation, so that's not something that ever has to change. And I really like the idea of something I don't constantly have to be fiddling with. Wait. Um, <laughs> I'm having too much fun. I need to go lay down um, and uh, calm myself, I guess. Uh, and also, this, this, I really do have a headache. Um, so, yeah, thanks again. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, keep, keep it up because th this is fun. Um, really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you again next time, I guess. <laughs> thanks.